Right, well, tomorrow morning, um, I'll be up at five o'clock to go to Norfolk Save in Watton. It's a pig save. Um, it's a really busy slaughterhouse. Um, it's a Cranswick slaughterhouse. They have literally thousands of pigs that come on a daily basis, every single day. Um, we can see 4,000 um, sometimes coming through. We've got an arrangement with the slaughterhouse. Um, they work very well with us. They stop the trucks for us for five minutes so that we can get footage of the, the animals and obviously pay our respects to them before they go through to the slaughterhouse to be slaughtered. They have the gas chamber there um, which if you know anything about gas chambers it's not humane at all it burns the inside of the animal's uh, stomach um, it burns them from the inside out and you can hear them screaming at certain slaughterhouses where you can get near enough um, it's really horrific it's by no means humane um, but yes yeah, so I'm there tomorrow I went to uh, Norfolk um, Norwich Livestock Market on Saturday where we saw just under 300 cattle coming into the market to be sold. Um, there were cows, lots of calves, which were very young, being taken away from their mums, and also sheep that were being sold there. Um, they were either being sold to be fattened up by another farmer or to be taken straight to the slaughterhouse um, to be killed. But tomorrow, it is just the slaughterhouse, so they will be definitely going to their deaths. Um, we see them probably maybe a few minutes before they're taken through the gates and and then they'll be killed. Um, it's always a very um, emotional one at Watton because we spend so much time with the pigs. Um, you get that connection with them. I used to think that pigs all look the same. As you're driving past, if you're lucky enough to see free-range pigs, which um, there are a lot more that are not free-range, but if you see them, they from a distance, they all look the same. They all look pink and big. And it's not until you actually stop and look at them. They're all so individual. Different eyes, different coloured eyes, beautiful eyelashes. I've seen some of the most beautiful eyelashes, strange enough, on a, on a pig. Um, they've all got different personalities. You get some that are really... Um, scared and they'll be shaking you can see their tails if they've got tails and usually little stubs because they've been cut when they were very young um, they will be shaking from fear you'll get others that will be really curious and want to get close to you and they stick their little noses out and they really appreciate human touch um, and they respond really well to it you get others that are a bit boisterous and will be jumping on the others and, and you get some that are quite ill um, we've seen quite a few there that have tumours um, attached to them, whether it be on their face or their stomachs. Um, and all of that goes into the food chain because they're not removed when they're killed. Um, it goes with the, the rest of the body and humans are eating it. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And I will take us some footage of the day and then I will uh, post it onto this video. So I've just arrived at um, Watton for our save this morning. Um, as I said uh, yesterday, it is probably the hardest save that we do as you are so close to so many animals for quite a long period of time. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just on my way back now from Watton save. Uh, it was a really cold morning. Um, we saw several trucks, not as many as we normally do, but we did see quite a few. Um, I decided to go around the back um, afterwards and just have a look and um, see what I could see. The place is so protected, um, apart from all the bracken that separates you from the from the edge of the path, because um, it's a public footpath that runs alongside. There's a big hill, a mound um, that is also quite high up, so you can't really see into the premises at all. Um, you can see the top of the building. You can, however, hear the pigs screaming. You probably can't pick that up on my videos because I'm quite a distance away, um, but it is uh, very loud and obviously they're very distressed. It's really um, quite surreal after having attended one of these saves where you've been in such close proximity to the pigs and you've touched them and you've really looked at them. To think that just to my right now, um, as we speak, because I've just left, those pigs are being killed. They will be put in the gas chamber uh, where their insides are burnt out 
and it's a really painful process for them. They will then be strung up and the next slit uh, and killed. And it's, it's, you can't get your head around the fact that those pigs you've literally just touched are being murdered right now and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Um, all we can hope is that we keep showing you these videos, showing you what the face, to put a face to those animals um, and hope that people make the connection and that they're no different from your dog or your cat. They're living beings that feel pleasure, that pain, uh, they can feel loss and happiness just like any other animal. Uh, the only difference is that we choose to treat them as animals that we consume. We treat them as commodities and property. Uh, whereas with our cats and dogs, we treat them as part of our family. Um, so yes, please watch my video. And um, if you're not already vegan, look into it. It's really simple. Uh, it's healthy. It's so much healthier for you. It's better for the environment and it stops what I've just seen today, these thousands of pigs being sent to their death. They're all going into uh, Cranswick's slaughterhouse now. So we've just seen the pigs on that truck just there behind me, going in to be slaughtered. They're killed by being in the gas chamber, first of all, and then their throats will be slit. And then they'll be cut up into pieces, processed, and then coming out of there in the refrigerator trucks to be sent to uh, supermarkets to be sold for me, for people to consume. <laughs> 